White Run once again belongs to its rightful heirs. It's a glorious day for Skyrim. I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. <laughs> of course, you already saved White Run from that dragon. I owe you a great deal. But I don't understand. Why let a dragon into the heart of my city when we've been working so hard to keep them out? Alduin, the World Eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I didn't say anything about giving up. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? Then White Run will stand with you, Dragonborn. We will take the risk and gain the glory, whether it be in victory or defeat. So what's the plan then? How do you intend to lure a dragon into the trap? Oh. Well, I'll leave that to you. I trust you know your business, probably for the best. It will give me time to see if that old trap still works. And break the news to the men. I was done talking anyway. I'm afraid there's a problem, a serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. All well and good, but did you know that he was Alduin's chief lieutenant in ancient times? Responsible for terrible atrocities. It's true that his crimes are long in the past, but justice does not count for the passage of years. The Blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards, and then the Emperor. Justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. Justice can be harsh, but it is still justice. Parthenax deserves to die. Parthenax was the author of many atrocities during the Dragon War, crimes great enough to be remembered for thousands of years. True, he turned traitor to Alduin and helped overthrow the Dragon Cult, but that does not excuse or expiate his previous deeds. Whether or not he has truly repented or merely acted to save himself, justice demands that he pay with his life. Interesting problem, hmm, yes. I've been poring over the records here in Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power, shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Alduin. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, but it is written here in the scroll. Oda Vin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. Wait, I know you. <laughs> We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Let's do this. Summon this dragon of yours. Vaza, an apt phrase, Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his thorn was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Maie, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Orvuta Med Kodav, Kot Renik Vaza, an apt. 
Many of us among ourselves. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesure, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skuldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Binduran pa ok avarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zuulost ofan hinlam. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Um? Serve you? No. Need aid. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Croesus. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova, but without the wings of one. You will never set foot in Skaldafen. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this.